Thanks for all being here this morning. Um, I want to tell you, I've, I've been here three years now, and, and, and one of the people that took me under their wing, the, the one that I can talk to here to say, you sat in this seat, talk to me. He's been honest with me. He's been up front in every way. Um, still, his mind for coaching and, and young people, unbelievable. And this honor today is so well-deserved. I want to thank Joe Kraft. I see him there. We talked about this, and Joe was one of the guys that came up with this idea. Um, Joe has done so much for this lodge and other things we've done, yet honoring people in, as he goes forward to help us. So let's give Joe. Joe, thank you. We really appreciate it, Joe. I, I'm not, I don't want to keep this long because I want Coach to speak, but I have to tell you, there are coaches in this profession that ha have to follow legends in their time. John Wooden, Bear Bryant, Vince Lombardi, you can, the names, one of them, Fog Allen, and the other guy was Adolph Rupp. No one that followed those other coaches won championships, no one. There's one guy, and we're here with him today. Coach Hall, three Final Fours, the national title, what he did here to get this thing right, phenomenal. We want to thank you, and we want to present this today, Coach, for you. Dwayne, are you going to do anything? Maybe you can unveil this. <laughs> Coach, come on over. This... This is the plaque that will be there next to it. And, and what we hope and what we know will happen is you'll have people come over to take pictures of you on that bench with that rolled up program. And I'll tell you, Coach, you're so deserving. Congratulations. Here you go, Coach. No one has a speech for an unveiling of a statue of them. The pigeons will appreciate it. I just spent a half hour parked on the parking lot at Tate's Creek Road. But uh, I see, John, you didn't use the pictures I gave you of Gregory Peck. <laughs> I tried to influence the artist a little bit. But uh, he got my glasses right, that's for sure. But uh, a spectacular award that uh, I just, I, I don't have words for. And I appreciate so much Joe Kraft and his influence in this and John for carrying it out. Coach Calipari is a different sort of person if you all haven't uh, caught that already. But uh, for a guy that has ideas and carries them out, there is no one better, no one faster at making a decision and enlisting the help to get it done. But uh, the achievements that I had at Kentucky were uh, guaranteed by the tradition, the legacy that Coach Rupp left. It, it's unbelievable the support that a coach gets from you fans. How much that helps in recruiting. How much it helps in persuading the administration to back your program. It's just, uh, this is a program of the fans throughout this state, border to border in this state are the Kentucky fans. I had the opportunity when I worked for Coach Rupp 
to uh, hit every county in this state. And every place I went, there were little kids amazed that someone from the University of Kentucky basketball would be in their community. And uh, I saw the enormous interest in this program when I took over the reins. And that ensured that I was going to work hard. And uh, hard work is what it takes. It takes a dedication, a focus, and a belief in your product. And I certainly had that belief, as all of you do. I thank you for this moment. <clears throat> John, what can I say? Thank you. Thank you all.